Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use Process Monitor. So if you're watching this video, it means we've asked you to do something with Process Monitor, and maybe you don't have a lot of experience in that. No problem. First things first, got to download Process Monitor. So Process Monitor download. Okay. Once you have it downloaded from the Microsoft website, don't get it from some unusual website and always try to get the latest version. Okay. So once you're on this web page, you've made it to the right place. I've already unpacked the tool to see column backslash procmon and it's ready to go. Now when you launch it the first time, you're going to get a UAC prompt. Actually, every time you run it, you're going to have to give it admin credentials. Okay. And admin credentials are now going to make procmon start. And you can see that it started down here and you'll have to agree to the software licensing terms and it starts immediately uh, going for events. I actually don't want that right now. What I want you to do is to actually turn off capture events and kind of get lined up for your demonstration to the demonstration of what you need to show us. So now that you've stopped the capturing of events, let's actually go to uh, filter. Uh, we want to go to um, uh, edit and clear display. Okay. So the idea is that now not, it's not recording and old history is, uh, is, not preserved. Let's, for instance, say I need you to um, capture the running of, say, Google Chrome. Well, what will you do? Well, now is the time. You'll go to Capture Events, and now it's doing its thing. You'll then run Chrome. Okay, Chrome will then do its thing, and it's currently recording tons of events while Chrome is running. You would reproduce the problem that we're asking you to to do, whatever whatever you want to show us. Okay, maybe you go do something inside Chrome and it flips out or whatever. That's fine. When you're done, close out the application and then at that point, go to File, Capture Events, and stop it. During that time, what Process Monitor has done, if we kind of go toward the end, we're going to see a billion things that happened in Chrome land. We're going to see all the stuff that happened while Chrome was running. Okay, so you're kind of setting yourself up for success, turning on the capture, turning off the capture, and then finally, what you're going to then do is go to file and um, you're going to uh, save, file save, and you're going to save all these events and include the profiling events in the native process monitor format. And you can save it right here. And if you have an SRX, that's even better. So like if you have a support case with us, so SRX, one, two, three, four, five, uh, procmon trace, okay, uh, dot, uh, I think, I forget what the uh, extension is here. So let's try that again. The PML, right? So procmontrace.pml. Okay, so put that right there. And oops, dot p pml, and you're off to the races. Okay, what you don't want to do is have this thing running like for 17 hours or whatever, because we don't need those kind of events. We can do the filtering from there. What we will do here in house is what we're going to do is we're going to create a filter and look for when the um, process name, okay, when the process name uh, contains, okay, contains Chrome and click add. Whoops, there we go. Click add. And then we're going to look just to see what happened during the thing we asked you to check out. Okay, so that should give you enough to go on in order to get us a very simple process monitor uh, capture. And then we can go from there and see if we can address your concern. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.